2 Thessalonians 3.13 But ye brethren, and be not weary, and well doing. And I know that's hard in today's time uh, to continue to do good, especially when we see so many things going on around us, especially when we see people not doing the things that they should, and so we begin to wonder, you know, why should I do this if nobody else cares? I mean, and we, we see that kind of attitude at work, especially. Uh, you hear that uh, that um, saying, I don't get paid to do that, or, you know, you know, that's extra, that's not my duty, that's not my job, and, you know, that kind of stuff. And, and so that kind of attitude, you know, we get kind of weary and well-doing. You know, sometimes we get tired of, what's the word a lot of people like to say, picking up somebody else's slack at work. You know, I'm, I'm tired of it. You know, let them, let them worry, worry with it, but one thing I found out uh, throughout the years of working is that when you go above and beyond and doing your job, you will get rewarded for it. I mean, you may say, oh, you know, nobody sees me do this, and nobody cares if I've done that, and uh, some people say, well, I'll do extra when I get paid to do extra, but, you know, there's... When you, when you do the right thing, people will take notice. Yeah. And so the Apostle Paul is telling the Thessalonians that there's some, and we're going to take this into context here, that there's some who are refusing to work. Uh, there are some that are, are, are busybodies, they're uh, getting in people's affairs, they're, you know, gossiping, you know, just expecting other people to to take care of. And so that led to Paul saying, brethren, be not weary and well doing. I mean, you continue to do what you're supposed to do. And as believers, we're serving the Lord. And so uh, we, we should serve the Lord with all our heart. Give it all our strength. Give it our 100% and more if we can. Somebody said that uh, the, the, the believer should be the hardest working person at their company or in the, you know, in the world. But Paul says, do not faint in well-doing. That is, do not uh, faint in living virtuously or act honorably. Do the right thing. Uh, we are not to lose heart. Don't faint because the others are not doing what is right. Uh, we see children doing this. Uh, you, you, you tell a child to clean up the room, and they'll bring in, oh, so-and-so is not cleaning up their room, so why should I? Or you tell them, you know, this is their chore to do a certain job, and they'll say, well, you know, little well, Timmy's not doing his part. And, and so they, they look for ways or look for reasons to get out of doing what is right or doing good. So Paul says, do not get tired. Do not... Uh, grow weary. Do not lose heart. Do not go uh, get faint and doing well. That is, that's that's like a good time just to shine. And so Paul tells the Galatians in Galatians six nine, let us not be weary in well doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. In due time you will be rewarded if you do not faint. So let us continue to keep on. Do not quit. Do not lose heart in doing good, because we will reap in due time. So Isaac Watts wrote, Satan finds, uh, for, uh, Satan finds some mischief still for idle hands to do. You know, it reminds me of, you know, uh, some parents, you know, they got teenagers, and they come home after school, the teenager wants to sit on the couch and watch MTV or, or well, I guess in today's time, is scroll YouTube videos on their phone. And, you know, the parents like, you need to do something, find a hobby, extracurricular stuff. You know, if yeah. you're not good in sports, you got band, you got 
the debate club. You got something else to occupy your time because idleness will eventually lead you to do a mission. And that's what Isaac Watt is saying here. The Romans had a saying uh, that the, by doing nothing, men learn to do evil. So, we, I mean, don't be, don't overdo it, but at least be doing something to keep mm -hmm. your mind occupied. The Jewish rabbis taught he who does not teach his son a trade teaches him to be a thief. So, do not let those who refuse to work persuade us to lose heart in doing the right thing, and that is to provide for you and your family. Do not be weary in well-doing. Continue to do what you're supposed to do. Right. Do what you know is right. And do not give up. Do not quit. And our reward is coming if we faint not. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father in heaven, we thank you for uh, Paul's encouragement in your word. And Lord, we pray that we can be men and women who will not think, uh, will not faint, will not lose heart in doing well. But Lord, that we see, if we see others not doing what they're supposed to do, not doing their part, we pray, Lord, that that would not, we would not use that as an excuse to be lazy on our part. Lord, help us to remember that we are serving you. And Lord, that we need to give you all that we have every day of our life. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.